good to all my friends and uh, all those people who don't know me. My name is Roger Hyde. I live in Plymouth and I document chemtrails amongst other things and uh, I try and fight for the truth. I'm showing you the footage so that you can understand what's actually happening in the world today with chemtrails stratospheric geoengineering being the long word for it and by the way for people who want to know today's date is the 15th of July Monday 2013 and uh, I'm doing my best to document these chemtrails that we have here that have been sprayed this morning quite vigorously and violently it's kind of like a poison attack and uh, unfortunately there's so many people here that think that's water vapour the condensation that comes from the planes <laughs> and there you go there up there you know, if you can see it clearly on this shot there is another plane up there spraying its little heart out trying to kind of show us who's the better well I'm not sure we really know it's not you guys um, Another one over there that's being freshly sprayed and laid. Uh, fortunately, you know, there is an ignorance in this world. Uh, that ignorance has to change. You know, people actually have to realise this. That there is not the actions of condensation and water vapour, and how it works. Water vapour does not spread out like that at that lower height. I believe you find that water vapour freezes and expands into ice crystals and spreads across the sky. At about 70,000 feet or thereabouts, I believe. I'm not sure of the exact height. Uh, but all the vapor that comes out of a plane surely ain't like that. Having seen it, a couple of contrails the past few days, past eight days, in fact because um, we've actually had or they've been given I should say eight days worth of sunshine um, to the class Illuminati pyramid in the sky over there they try to make a point or is it just accidental spray I'm not sure but like I said we've been given eight days of sunshine and um, through then there was actually no planes at all whatsoever or very very few throughout the day and they all had contrails coming out of the back of them uh, yesterday was a bit different. They, had, they did try to spray, and for some reason it didn't stick. But uh, today they're out in force. I don't know how many planes there is in the sky. Uh, I guess I would say there's five or six crossing the sky. There's one uh, heading west to east, two heading west to east of different areas, and uh, several others in the sky. Uh, one I've just shown you on film. I want you to now, having seen this, please go and watch that film that I've explained what in the world are they spraying and that will give you a, a fuller description of what's actually going on than I can. Uh, my personal opinion is I believe it's to do with depopulation. Uh, uh, I know it's a hard thing to swallow but if people looked up and read things like uh, Agenda 21, that's a official document for the United Nations, you can go to the website and you can actually find it. And it's all to do with depopulation of the Earth, down to a controllable level of 400 million people. Uh, and so that the Earth resources themselves are not uh, depleted, that's pretty much what they want to do. So people, we have an evil amongst us in the skies called chemtrails. Now there comes a time in everybody's life when they have to take a stand and why not make today that day? Why not do your bit to stop the evil? Because, I mean you see this here, this is slowly killing us, I'm pretty sure of it. And if we don't stop it now, it will be far too late. But not just us, for our children, for our grandchildren, and indeed for the planet, 
because it must be doing a hell of a lot of damage to Mother Earth. Bearing in mind that uh, there has been research and correlation of facts and figures that tell us what actually is in this spray. Uh, now, barium, strontium, arsenic, uh, living microfibers, aluminium, all in nanoparticles. Now the interesting bit of information here, you find, is that, well, 